Well, we're extremely comfortable with working on Windows because we've been working on Windows for nearly 20 years. Um, we've obviously worked with Intel extensively and a number of their uh, products use our GPUs. They also use our video cores as well. So we have a very, very long heritage in DirectX and DirectX is hard. It's not just a matter of picking up the spec and getting the functionality right and so on. The whole aspect of compliance and verification and getting the content to actually work takes years and years and years of experience uh, running a lot of content, which we've done. There's not many companies that have done that. We are one of them. So we're very comfortable for Windows 8 and supporting that on x86 architectures as well as on ARM architectures. We're excited by what's opening up with Windows on ARM because that just simply broadens the market for people that can use our technologies. Uh, and I think that will just be an interesting dynamic as we move into this next generation. Uh, interestingly, for example, people looking at using more of our cores because of our low power credentials, not just in phones and tablets, but even back in the server farms because power is such a big issue when you're getting such high levels of compute. And then you look at WinPhone 8, which is all going to go DirectX as well. Well, of course, we've got all the credibility and experience. Our Series 5 cores, all of, most of our Series 5 XT cores support DirectX 9 Level 3. And it's important to look at which level of DirectX 9 functionality is supported. And so we've got a tremendous heritage. We're very comfortable with working with Windows. We understand and work very close with Microsoft. And so we feel we're in an extremely strong position for all these different flavors of Windows that are coming along, that we'll be in a very, very strong position to support our customers in that. The, the thing about DirectX 10 and DirectX 11 is our cores, yes, we've got DirectX 10, DirectX 11 is coming in rogue, uh, so there's no question that we can go that route. But we wouldn't necessarily push all the mobile market in DirectX 11 just because you've got it. Because there are overheads and you've got to strike the balance. And that's why we, we structure our roadmap to make sure that as the different vendors look at the function capabilities that they want, that if they want DirectX 11 from us, they can get it. If they want DirectX 10, they can get it. If they want to optimize according to their developers, everybody's got a different view. The thing is that our, the, the breadth of our roadmap enables us to make sure that we can hit whatever configuration our, our licensees want. So obviously we're going to be you know, leaders in the pack in Windows and DirectX or in all its different flavors as well as in the, the whole Android and Linux. And even we're seeing increasing interest now as, as smartphones become much more mainstream in the RTOSs. Uh, so that the lower level operating systems also now supporting full graphics and so on too. So it's just getting more complex out there as, as the numbers are just just growing exponentially, which is what we're seeing.